governance and political experts say the outcome of the just ended voters registration exercise has vindicated the electoral commission for its resolve to compile a new electoral rule the commission faced opposition from political parties including the ndc as well as some civil society institutions like imani ghana for its decision but speaking with Evans Mensa on PM Express on the Joint News Channel, coordinator of Election Observer Group, Codeo, Albert Ahin, said the EC's action was justified. 16.9 million. Uh, the projection or the estimation made by the EC originally was, I think, about um, 15, 15 million. Right 15 here. million, yes. And then the registration exercise. Uh, no, the, the last election, when we did the unit uh, the committee elections and the um, the other one, you know, the register stood at about 16.4. Okay. So 16. if we now have... 16.8. 16.8, yeah. So, okay. If the new registration has given us this figure of 16.9, then uh, I would say that it was worth going into the new uh, registration exercise. Because one would have thought that we're going to exceed this number. So it straight away tells us that we may have done away with a lot of the dead uh, names. We may have you know, been able to do away with a lot of the ghost names or whatever, uh, whether it's foreigners, whichever. So I think that 16.9 as against 16.8 gives a true figure or a true interpretation of what is actually obtaining on the ground, and so far as this registration is concerned. By my estimation, they have been vindicated. Now, on his part, research fellow at the Institute of Democratic Governance, Gracie Jonah, was of the opinion that the register had been cleaned of names of deceased persons. If you go by the estimate of the GSS, the Ghana Statistical Service, mm -hmm. approximately 17.1 million Ghanaians are above the age of 18 and above. Mm -hmm. So by the Ghana Statistical Service estimate, we have 17.1 million who are 18 and above. And so even though the EC itself estimated roughly 15 million and so on and so forth, the figure they have obtained now is so well below the Ghana Statistical Service estimate of 17.1 million. Impressive. But what is uh, equally impressive is the fact that for us, if we had not conducted this new registration exercise, the names of deceased people would still have remained on the register. Now all those names have been cleaned. No, unless somebody saw somebody from our domestic cemetery coming to register, I, 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 would, I would like to believe that the dead people's names have been completely erased from this register. And that is very, very positive. I, I, I think altogether, the figure that Dr. Kweku is mentioning, I mean, uh, 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 in, it's in very impressive. They, they have vindicated, if, they take, uh, if it is able to take into account the violence that has characterized the process, they have vindicated. Now, Paul Sabenefsen also agrees with the EC's assertion that the previous electoral role was bloated. He spoke on news desk with Bernice Abubedu Lansa. The figure for this uh, proves that the 2016 register had a problem. Because 2016, there was 16 million. On the average, between 900,000 and a million people get on the voter register every year. So if they had added to the 2016, we'd be having about 18.5, 19 million. And for a population of our buyer, estimate to be 31 million, it would have been too much. Mm. So and like the EC themselves have said, I don't think that we'll be having such a massive voter registration again because one, if you look at those who use instruments to register, 60% use Ghana card. So I presume that by 2024, we should have about 90% having Ghana card. And with the way this has been done, every year when the voters register is opened, so the country is likely to save so much money at a massive voter registration. <laughs>